हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल so hello everyone now in this video i'm going to start from sum number 11 for the previous one please check the description box the link will be there so here in sum number 11 the probability that a contractor will get a plumbing contract in 2 by 3 and an electric contract is 4 by 9 okay so for the plumbing it's 2 by 3 and for the uh, electric it's 4 by 9 so first here for a a means here the probability a for the plumbing and for the b that means for electric that is here write down 4 by 9 and this one here 2 by 3 if the probability of getting at least one contract okay so at least one contract means union of first one and second one that means here p a union b that one equal to 4 by 5 find the probability that he will get both contract okay so both contract means you have to find out the intersection of a and b it's very easy so you know the formula that is pa plus pb and then minus uh, this one here pa union b that means 2 by 3 plus 4 by 9 minus 4 by 5 and here your answer it's 14 by 45 okay now let's move on to the next problem number 12 in sum number 12 a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of playing cards what is the probability that it is either a spade or an ace or both okay so here a well shuffled pack that means total number of cards equal to 52 all of you know about that so first here the first event okay first event for getting a spade so suppose here pa okay pa is a getting a spade how many spades cards are there total 13 spades cards are there out of 52 cards so here the probability equal to 1 by 4 is it clear now the next one number 2 getting an ace how many ace cards are there suppose here probability for ace it's b so here 4 by 52 okay 4 by 52 that means 1 by 13 now next one you have to find out or both that means spade and ace so that means here you have to find out a union b So for a union b p a p a plus p b that means one by four plus one by thirteen minus intersection. So first you have to find out the intersection between these two events, and there is only one ace of spade is a same card for the first one that means an ace. Clear? So in that case here p a intersection b. that will be 1 by 52 so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 13 is 1 by 52 okay so your answer will be here 4 by 13 okay 4 by 13 is the final answer now next sum number 13 a card is drawn from a random pack of 52 playing cards what is the probability that the card drawn is neither a spade nor a queen neither a spade nor a queen okay so here first one suppose the probability for a event a event means drawing a card with a spade one okay so that is here 1 by 4 you know that and let the probability uh, the second one drawing a queen card it will be here how many queens are there four queens so 4 by 52 that means 1 by 13 okay so a event means drawing a spade card and b event means drawing a queen now there is only one queen of spade so the intersection will be you know that as same as the previous one it will be 1 by 52 now the required probability that the card drawn is neither a spade nor a queen 
Okay, neither a spare means A complement and nor a queen means okay B complement. So you have to find out the intersection of A complement and B complement. You can also write down this one as A union B complement. Okay, so it means 1 minus P A union B. So 1 minus here P A, B A means 1 by 4, then minus 1 by 13, then plus 1 by 52. Okay, now calculate and your answer will be here 9 by 13. Now next one, sum number 14. In sum number 14, find the probability of getting an even number on the first die or a total of 8 in the single throw of 2 dies. Okay, so let A be the event of getting an even number on the first die. Okay, I repeat, let A be the event of getting a even number on the first die. So the favorable outcomes are 2 comma 1 because 2 is the even number then 2 comma 2 in this way up to 2 comma 6. Clear? After that again 4 comma 1 then 4 comma 2 in this way up to 4 comma 6. And next one here 6 comma 1, 6 comma 2 dot 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 up to 6 comma 6. Okay? So total number of favorable outcomes are 6 plus 6 plus 6 that means 18. Okay, so here the probability equal to 18 and total outcome is 36. So that one equal to half. Now next one, B be the event of getting a total of 8 in single throw of 2 dice. So here the possible outcomes are 2 comma 6, 8, definitely 6 comma 2. The next one 3 comma 5 or 5 comma 3 5 comma 3 and here 4 comma 4 okay so for the probability b that one equal to here 5 by 36 so now you have to find out the for the probability of an even number or the total of 8 as here or that means you have to find out a union b but for a union b you have to also find out the intersection. So, first write it down the intersection between these two events. So, intersection. So, here 2 comma 6 will be there. And the next one 6 comma 2. And here 4 comma 4. So, intersection equal to here 3 by 36. So, that one equal to here 1 by 12. So, here 1 by 2. Then here PB 5 by 36 minus 1 by 12 and that one equal to here 5 by 9 as your answer. Now next one, sum number 15. If two dice are thrown simultaneously, find the probability of getting a sum of 7 or 11. So here the first one, 15, 1. So, here the total outcomes, okay, total outcomes equal to 36. Now, for the sum of 7, so here the probability for the first one, P A sum of 7, this one equal to here 6 by 36, that means 1 by 6. How it's 6? Because 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2 and 6, 1 are the possible outcomes for sum of 6. And for the next one, sum of 11. So, possible outcomes are 5, 6 and 6, 5. So, only 2. So, that means here P, B equal to 2 by 36, it's 1 by 18. And here the intersection, that one equal to 0. So, I hope you can easily find out the union. Now, number 2, a double, a doublet or a total of 6. Okay, doublet means same value. So, first one will be 1, second one will be 1. Then 2, 2, then 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. Okay. So for the first event, suppose it's E here 6 by 36, that means 1 by 6. Second event, total of 6. Okay. Suppose it's F 1, 5, 5, 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, and 3, 3. 
so here it will be 5 by 36 and the next one intersection so here the intersection is only one that is 3 3 so p intersection e intersection that is one so now you can easily find out the union so it will equal to 1 by 6 plus 5 by 36 minus 1 and that one equal to 5 by 18 as your answer now the last one for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel in class 11 of a school 40 percent students are punctual and 30 percent students are regular 10 percent of the student are both punctual and regular if a student is selected at a random from the class find the probability that he will be punctual or regular or both okay let a be the event that the student is punctual so here p a p a equal to 40 percent 40 percent means 40 by 100 that means here 4 by 10 okay next one suppose r p r r is the event for the student r regular okay so that one equal to here 30 by 100 so 3 by 10 okay and the 10 percent of students are both punctual and regular that means the intersection between a and r okay and that is 10 percent so 10 by 100 it's 1 by 10 now if a student is selected at a random from the class find the probability that he will be punctual or regular or both that means here you have to find out the union of a and r it's very easy so 4 by 10 plus 3 by 10 minus 1 by 10 and here your answer it's 6 by 10 that means 3 by 5 